I think good religion and biblical interpretation goes best with some common sense. Uh, I believe in a scripture enlightened conscience undergirded by prayer. Every word in the Bible is not the word of God. But the Bible points for me to the word of God, which in my interpretation of my Christian faith is Jesus Christ. Times dictate how people understand and see things. I give you an example. The Apostle Paul uh, says, slaves, be obedient unto your masters with all fear and trembling. Well, I understand what Paul was saying in his time based on his worldview in his expectation that Jesus Christ would return soon and straighten everything out. Well, of course, I could not apply that in terms of chattel slavery here in America. Common sense would dictate that. Historical interpretation. Uh, there was a time when we believed the sun was the center of the universe. Uh, not the sun, I mean, the earth was the center of the universe. Uh, we know better now. Uh, so therefore, I would say that men and women ought to read the Bible uh, within the context of the knowledge that has been amassed uh, and revealed by God to humankind. Uh, at a time when men and women were first, ah, there's another one, uh, women had little to say. You know, the Bible says that if a woman wants to know anything about what happens in the congregation, she should go home and ask her husband. What if she doesn't have a husband? You know, the church, in terms of the black church experience, is filled with women. How do you deny a woman her rightful place in the midst of the congregation when we believe that women are as intelligent and as strong and as forthright as men are? So I think that we have to read the Bible within uh, the confines, at least, of the knowledge that we have amassed across the years and understand that the Bible itself cannot be the end-all and be-all because in my faith, the way I understand it, Jesus left us and he said, I will send you a comforter. Now this paraclete, this comforter, this Holy Spirit would be to teach us, and to guide us, uh, and to comfort us. So the Holy Spirit is continually revealing new truths, greater understanding. When Jesus came, empowered by the Holy Spirit, he said, you have heard that you should love, uh, hate your enemies, you know, and love those who love you. But I tell you to love your enemies. Well, that's the leading of the Holy Spirit that gave Jesus this revelation that completely transformed our understanding. I think the Holy Spirit still does that. And I think men and women who let the Holy Spirit guide them will find the ability to cooperate. And those who have a narrow interpretation of the Bible, those who are fundamentalists to the core, I think do a great disservice to the power of the Holy Spirit in many of our lives. And moreover, the Bible teaches us things that help us to really lay the groundwork for greater cooperation among all men and women, even those of different faiths. So Jesus says, those who are not against us are for us. And so I argue that if I see a Muslim walking down the street, and I don't know that he's a Muslim or she's a Muslim, and the Muslim sees me as a Christian walking down the street and does not know my faith, if we are truly practices of our faith, we won't be able to tell the difference. And I would argue that for a number of uh, religions. And so therefore, um, I go back to the uh, initial answer. Uh, you take the Bible and all religions best with a little common sense and an appreciation for the revealed knowledge of God about the world in which we live and the evolutionary process of our understanding who we are as men and women. <laughs>